I yep. really need to. I need to tell me she's never played video games. There's a crucible that people go. We through know when they for go a fact she's never played video this. games. We know for yeah. a fact she's sent she never played them. Well, I'm just. I mean, saying, just look at personality the personality alone. How, when you go through the crucible of competition, it changes you. You know, and and, really and the way, and you don't take people saying shit to you as anything. I mean, it, first. It, I mean, firstly, when you look at her v videos, you know she doesn't play them. Like the Hitman yeah. game, for example, oh when she God. showed that. How, how she, unbelievable. When she showed that and she said, look, they're wanting you to drag the body everywhere it's like, and kill them. Like, no, it penalizes you. And then the when I saw that, when I, for that. Yeah. Yeah, and then when, you, when I watched that footage again, I realized she's been watching our videos. So or, this or kind one of means, her assistants was. It, or one of them. But this means, therefore, that she can't just stop hiding anymore now. Oh, she's Aiden, watching it. Can you stop presenting me to everyone? Yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, uh, that was super disturbing because like she um she had total understanding of what she was doing and continued to do it. Yeah, well, I mean it's hard to say because maybe she was just watching or whoever one of her assistants, whoever found the footage from a YouTube playthrough. Maybe they were watching it and the person wasn't talking and so they didn't mm -hmm. know that you weren't supposed to do it. But at the same time, you know, she did fool how, people. How and... many types of, of little inconveniences and things must have come together to make that a reality? I'm sorry. It's not correct. That's not what happened there. What, what pissed me off was that I have female friends who I tried to explain, um, you know, that... I was trying to explain to a female friend of mine that that's a producer because I was trying to get her to produce my my script into a movie, and I was like, no, but I'm like, it's about this woman who's a liar and a big liar who's been caught by countless people and millions of people know, but the mainstream media is covering for her for whatever reason, and mm -hmm. so this bitch is going down. So if we make a fucking movie about this, it's it's going to do well, trust me. And my friend was like, well, I need to see the evidence, and then. I tried to, so I showed her the Hitman thing, and my friend is like, well, maybe you're not supposed to do that in the game, but, like, I still don't think that the game should allow you to do that. And I'm like, it's a video game! It's, well, it's I don't just... understand that at all, because video games should allow you, you should be able to do whatever you want to do. Yeah, the thing about like... Hitman has always been interesting, because it's a game, and it allows you to, to solve these problems in any way that you want to. Yeah. So I, I, I just don't understand that. It's just the it's just the knee jerk fucking empathy gap in uh you know like oh my god even women that aren't real you can't beat them up because we care so much more about women than men because we've been shooting men in video games for years and it's well sure I just don't understand women's objection to most video games because as a woman who studies video games professionally I just do not I can't comprehend where the where where the problem lies. I, I, think, I, I can tell you. I can tell you one thing. If if you talk to her, she would be right on board with everything. No, because I don't think so. Very, I, no. I, I, I'm an extreme. I, I really study video games sincerely. I study them with science. I study mm. them with numbers. I don't do it with like things well, that feel nice. She very very specifically asked. She said she said to me at the time because I didn't really have a bunch of friends that were into such things because I didn't have my mm -hmm. channel yet. Um, she said, do you have any female friends that, like, know about this stuff that are, you know, into into criticizing feminists? And I was like, well, not really, because my real-life friends don't re – no, not really. And she – and that was a big deal to her. Like, she thought that, you know, if I just had a female friend that could, like, the, vouch, the, the vouch problem, for me or something, then it would have made a the difference. The problem is I, I do, and it's not only that, like, I have a female friend, so that I am a female, but I, I would never try to do that because – Honestly, I'm a scientist, so the only type of thing I would try to use to convince somebody is science, which I could give you in every possible capacity to explain how women are not excluded by video games in any in any any way that is measurable. Yeah. yeah. If anything, it is actually the the least sexist and least racist of all methods of of sharing mediums because you get to hide behind anonymity. So if you're Absolutely. good, you're good. That's it. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, it's 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 such a fucked up thing that SJWs have done to the internet because that was the beautiful thing about, you know, any, anything where you could hide behind anonymity electronically and still interact with other people, it was equalizing. 
You know, like back in the day of mm -hmm. old school bulletin boards where all you could see was a screen name, you could have like an argument with somebody for eight hours, assuming that they're a white male. And then it turns out that they're <laughs> like an Asian woman, you know? Yeah, that, that, that's one of the rules of the Internet. There, there are no women on the Internet. And, and the, the, the effect of that is that you assume that everyone is, I, I kind of want to say on the whole playing field with you, more or less, but you assume that everyone is more or less the same, you know? Yeah. But then SJWs came along, and it's it's kind of like they couldn't handle the equal playing field, and then they started saying, well, I'm just getting shit because I'm a woman. No, it's, you're getting shit because you're a liar. Well, I think it's a very natural thing for women to do. I, I think there's, in situations where they can't compete because it's not natural to them to be in competitive arenas, they have to find social means of, uh, you know, garnering some kind of importance in those arenas. And so the way they do it is through complaining or justification of uh yeah pretty much go yeah. home gamer girl yeah uh -oh, <laughs> i gotta go home <laughs> you know i think one of the things is that gaming like um especially the way it evolves is a little anti-social so to speak like it, it's not at all based around social interaction as much as it is just flat out meritocracy yeah. and I, I think that plays a big role into it yeah absolutely yeah, I, one thing I was going to, going back to playing video games, uh, I think that when you play video games competitively, you do it for a long time, or you do sports, um, you completely recognize the necessity for hierarchies, and you, and you yes. appreciate them. When those who don't are easy to spot, because they basically believe that for some reason or another, the, the playing field needs to be evened out. And like that's why I think you see a lot of women who do it, because they don't <laughs> get into comp uh, competition that often. Yeah. You know, competitive situations. And, uh, can I add my two cents here about something for a second? Sure. Um, yeah. Um, I think for years, I think one of the reasons why, maybe it's just me, but I think one of the things that has prevented more women from getting into games is because advertising, because... No, I disagree entirely. I, I disagree too. I'm saying because of all the all the ads that only emphasize teenage boys playing video games, like... Well, okay, that, I, that, has I never, that has never disincentivized me. I that would say, never, though... I would say though that there has been a lack of girly games, and that, um, but that doesn't have anything to do with what I'm interested in in games. Well, but, that's, but that is you as an individual, and I know that you're a social psychologist. That you probably have a bunch of data that maybe is going to prove me wrong. But at the same time, there are like okay, on PS4, I have a PS4, and there's this sort of. New what kind of games do you think that I, as a woman? What would I like to play? Well, no, no. Okay, so I don't oh, know what you like. To, no, I don't know the what witness. you like to play. I don't know what you like to play. But I do know that my friend, Sister Danger, who some of you might know, she is a YouTuber. She's come over and played games with me, and she's very girly. She, despite her name being Sister Danger, she's I'm like one of the girly. Well, she she like dresses up like a fairy, and she's not into like you I'm, know. I'm a cosplayer. What do I like? No, no, no. I'm talking about I, 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 I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about I know her. you're not. I'm just okay. I, I'm just trying to present an opposite. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. I know that there's there's plenty of females that play games that are, you know, totally exceptions to the, to these rules. However, there are females that prefer things that are slightly less like, you know, hack and slash and oh, shoot. Less. And um, you know, things like the game Flower or the game um what's it called? Bound. Or it, 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 be healed. Have you played? Have you guys games played? Games that I like are I'm I pretty much so my so my my main interest in games is in forex and grand strategy. Yeah. These are games that that are ninety nine percent driven by men. But yeah. my idea is that it doesn't like mean there's something wrong with me. And you know what that is, people sociological. Yeah. Now, the point the point that I'm saying is that there there is most games have a very violent and very directly almost stressfully competitive angle to it whereas there are games that like like have you guys played the game flower yes I've played flower yeah so I really like it it but it's it's it, it's completely non-competitive you can't die you know all you do is just fly around and try to find the flowers sure. That's a nice and little I, game. And, and, and Sister Danger, she, who normally doesn't really get into video games, she kind of, she'll, she'll play Street Fighter a little bit and just kind of mash buttons, but she loved Flower. She did not want to stop playing. She well, beat my, great. she, she, and, and, yes, and, I played and, Stellaris, by the way. Yes, I played Stellaris. And yeah. 
she agreed with me that the game is the type of game that like little girls would really really get she she actually works with little girls um she dresses up as a fairy and does parties and stuff and she felt that this was something that would appeal more to little girls now there has been an imbalance of games that have been like that as compared to the more boyish games even though there are some girls that do I, like I disagree the boyish with games. this entire I, I, idea yeah, I, disagree I disagree with the, here, here's the what entire here's concept that you're you're promoting here Here's what I'll say about this, right? You're thinking about this from a sort of more social norm perspective rather than a gamer perspective because from the get-go, there's there's a kind of gamer mindset that someone has to have to be a gamer in the first place. So when you look at things as a gamer, um, you need to look at what female gamers are like typically. Like, like what are the averages for female gamers? And I, for me, no, myself... you're correct. I, as, a, as an average female gamer, yes, because what? They're, they're going to be more interested in, like, Barbie and stuff like this. I get that. I get that. Not even that. Not even that. What the that. games that I play are all 4X and Grand Strategy. Like, that's the kind of games that I play and I enjoy the most. I, I also think you have to recognize that the gaming industry is the survival of the fit, uh, fittest uh, playing out. So, so, I mean, if you... I don't know if you guys are really familiar with the the early gaming industry with like the likes of Atari and sure. corporate video games that came out where Absolutely. they had like McDonald's, a video game or whatever. So we already, we went through um, the crucible of like the worst video games and we went yep. through all the female video games. They did not sell. Mm. That, and that's oh. why, that's why we don't yeah. have as many of them promoted by oh, the yeah. AAA companies. But if you look at indie, indie actually surprisingly gives you a lot more. So I, I don't I don't personally think I mean we still do have things like Final Fantasy which is our role playing games and, and turn based strategies are a little bit better as far as like women feeling more comfortable with that as far as like competitiveness but it's still not gonna, it's gonna it's not gonna compare to men who have no social lives they right. are gonna have <laughs> so much more time to uh, but this is the thing isn't that. it is competitiveness and what are men competitive well women no I, I don't even think it's men are more competitive than women yeah. and we should we yeah. accept that that's a reality. Of, of of how people interact that men are, tend to be more competitive that's not okay. bad that's just reality yeah but it doesn't mean that women awesome. don't like games you know if there is a game that uh, let, let's say you take a really non-competitive woman um no i love europa universalis and like those are games that are competitive i guess you know Guess well, I can tell them. you're a competitive person, but like, let's say you take a, a woman who is a non-competitive woman. It doesn't mean that there aren't going to be certain games that she would enjoy. It just means that, you know, like maybe she's going to like a game that has really pretty visuals where you just get to run around exploring, you know? Well, well, let's well, let's, let's, let's play gonna... this out. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Well, okay. Yeah. Here's the thing I'm going to say, right? When you look at female gamers, like the majority of female gamers, what are the games they typically do like? Candy Crush, Bejeweled. No, we don't. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't say you're that. wrong, though. You're not no. incorrect. You're correct. Those are the games that get brought up when we. Now, here's the problem, and I, and I have this major issue because this is a, a, an issue that I have with the statistical analysis. Is that when we we assess how many women are quote gamers, guess what? They include people who play fucking Come Candy on. Crush. Yeah. And, right. that's and th th those people. Out. Yeah, those people are not gamers. No, yeah, yeah. throw the mobile gaming gamers, out like, the window. When you're looking at actual female gamers, the majority of games that female gamers tend to play are like, I see League of Legends, I see JRPGs, I see you Minecraft, I see Legends? survival games. League of Legends even is, is ex extreme to, what to see League of Legends. What about, like, Aiden, can I email you my script right now? I think you're really going to enjoy it. Yeah, you can email me anything you want. Like, email me uh, anything. Yeah. My point is, my, my, my question and my, my issue is here is that uh, we see very few people who are who, women who... Like they, they claim to like this shit, but when it when you actually look into what their interest is, like they like I like I like um uh, yeah, I, I like a uh, candy crush. And this is and I'm not saying like I'm not trying to, to suck my own cock, but like <laughs> I'm not. But there's so Wait. many women that, that try to be like, Oh, I'm a gamer, I'm a gamer. It's it like is. interesting no, about this though. You're not. The casual the casual game market itself is also split. Like the women like the bejeweled and the candy crushes. Right. The men tend to like more like fruit. Call of Duty. Or... Call of Duty. No, FIFA. no, no. That's not, not even Call of casual. Duty, but but even the the uh uh what is it called? Tower Clash Defense. Of Clash Tower of Clans. Yes. How about Clash yeah, of Clans? Clash of Clans and shit. I've like never that. played that's that. Male that's male fucking Temple Run and shit like that. You know, some people right. have suggested in um, uh, game theory that there is such a thing as video games for women, and it exists in social media. 
Actually, uh, I would I would be willing to, to support that theory, and I I have uh, extensive data to support that theory. Uh, Prince, yeah, yeah. Prince, Prince. Prince. Um, I remember back in the two thousands, there were games that were actually marketed as games for girls, and they were Mary Kate and Ashley, Barbie, and um the that American Girl series. They were actually marketed as games for girls. I remember that. Huh. Sure, sure, but the um, oh, well, so sorry, go ahead. This is part of the problem is that, yeah, like some of this, these data have been uh, edited in the way that they're reported. Yes, that we we see these games for girls type shit. And we're going to see this, we're always going to see this because it's always going to be the fucking narrative at this point, is it not? That um, women need our own uh, platform to be able to play video games, right? right? Because we can't do it otherwise. Now the astounding thing is, I remember being seven years old and and being and and it being Christmas morning and being ecstatic to get um banjo kazooie or uh you know Ocarina of Time because I was a normal fucking child. Yeah. And that kind of thing has really changed. I don't think that it was a a, a um gender based issue when I was a child, at least. And it has become one because well, let's be completely correct and realistic here. Women tended to grow out of video games because we were supposed to get into feminine things a little bit more. Now, I'm not saying that that's sexism, because it certainly isn't. Well, it's actually, just, I, I, it's I, I, differences in how women and men well, tend it's a, it's a to sexual grow strategy. up. So, I There's mean, also, there are some girls... Sorry, go first. I was going to say, it's a sexual strategy. So if you look at women... All right, let's just look at it like... Um, so women's best trait is their physical appearance. It's probably sure. going to get them. It's probably going to get them the farthest in life. If they can, if they can shack up with the best suitor possible, uh, that's going to be the fastest ticket to the good life for them. And so, how do you get there extremely quickly? You invest in your appearance, and you go out and you socialize with individuals huh. who get you closer to those suitors. And so, those women who invest in that that social time are not going to be investing in video games as much because video games takes you away from that community. Men, okay. on the other hand. Oh, sorry, the, the one thing the one thing I'll add to that is they would more typically invest in television because that's what's more socially normal. And I think it's not even that women get steered toward I don't agree with that. No. I think you might be right actually. I, I, I don't know because like for me, yeah, I haven't had I I've had very bad luck with men. And that might be part of it. Well, what it is is like I think women are a lot easier from a social perspective to steer toward pragmatism, and I think mm. that's where a large degree of the gender differences we see come into play because mm. men are very, very much more likely to do things that aren't pragmatic, like mm. you know that that's the whole risk taking thing, um, right. sort of embodied right there. Like I was just thinking about this earlier, like you know why don't you see more men in NASCAR? Because only men are stupid enough to think that they can be a fucking NASCAR driver. <laughs> I mean, honestly, yeah, that's yeah. really what it is. Mm -hmm. So, as as women grow up, they, they tend to get away from video games because playing video games is not pragmatic. It serves no social purpose because a vast minority of people are gamers. It doesn't do anything, you know, aside from that because <laughs> it's just playing fucking video games. But if you watch television, if you watch what's popular on TV, it's that's something that you can use. That has social powers in a way, you know, hmm. something you, you can relate to more people with. And I think well, that, that's what the bigger thing is. As as gang becomes more popular, we've seen more. I, I think I, I don't even want to say it like that, but I I think it is true that we've seen more women go into gaming. And I think that, especially as it becomes more and more popular, it'll become it'll become the thing that gradually replaces television. But we're not at that point you know, yet. You know what I say about more women coming into gaming? I think that's just the internet giving more women a voice. In my opinion, I think they were always there, mm. and I think. This isn't women coming into. This is just women coming out, really, as gamers. I because... don't know if I agree, Charlie. But, like, I, mean, I think you're right. I, I think you're right. It's people I, coming out a little bit. I it's a little bit people coming out. I, I think I, I just... men, are, men are the pavers of the road. You know, and as then, soon as they're able to pave it, then women will step onto it. You know, they're, women are I'd never going to. Also... Sorry, go ahead. I'd also My... say that even men, most men, grow out of video games because it's wrongly seen as a juvenile thing when it isn't. Yeah. It certainly is a juvenile so, thing, but my, my, my understanding is, and you have to understand that I, I have a bias because I am a video game researcher. I study video games primarily. It's the, the locus of all of my research. Um, I don't necessarily think that that's true. 
I think that video games are something that is is really really intrinsic to the way that modern society works, and to um, the idea that women are sort of like th they were ostracized or excluded from the way that we initially um, analyzed video games is incorrect. I think that we have always analyzed video games in a, a somewhat accurate way. The fact that it doesn't suit Anita Sarkeesian's fucking crazy narrative, well, that's her problem, not the problem of reality, not yeah, the, yeah, problem the problem of science. She's not a gamer. If you didn't grow up playing games, you're not going to get games. It's just, it's just it doesn't work that way. But I am willing to actually do the hard research there. I have been able to do that research there, and I am very willing to do the research there. Because there aren't many people who have the scientific, scientific acumen I do. Well, I certainly don't. <laughs> That's fine if you don't, though. That's cool. Like, you, you shouldn't. I, I, I honestly apologize because, holy fuck, do you understand how sad it is that I had to go get a fucking master's degree in video games? Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, you'll, you'll find that game theory does expand on other things in life, you know? So the, the natural tendencies of people. It does, beyond that, yes. But, like, uh, yeah, it is a little sad. You know what, I didn't? It could be worse. You could have got a degree in history like me. Oh, no, no. We're, 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 we're like, Charmy, we're on, like, the equal level of, like, what the fuck are we doing with our lives? 